Kisha kuamini tulipoamini mwanzo Yeah. <laughs> 
Mazilishi awabariki sana Na mshukuru mungu wetu wa mwanzilishi We thank our guru the founder Vila ambaga wa metulinda mwezi mzima The way are secured as the whole man Waka tena metuleta pamoja Till again has brought us together Wakusanyiko letu la subuya leo In our gathering this morning 
Je mna amani na furaha kwa bwana wetu enjoy mmoja alikuwa akisema amani ujipe mwenyewe. One furaha ujipe mwenyewe. Ella used to say you need to give yourself joy. Amen. Amen. Furaha ujipe mwenyewe. Until you give yourself joy. Na kama ni amani ujipe mwenyewe. It means peace you give yourself. Ana Paulo alifika mahali akasema Because Paul got to a point and said ile imani uliyonayo uwe nayo katika nafsi yako. Faith you have should be present in your own personal soul. Si kwa mwingine. Not any anybody's soul. Uwe nayo katika nafsi yako. You should have in your own soul. Amani uwe nayo katika nafsi yako. Faith you should have in your own soul. Furaha uwe nayo katika nafsi yako. Joy you should have in your own soul. Amen. Amen. Kwa hivyo ni shukrani kubwa kwa Mungu wetu wa baba mwanzilishi na mama mwanzilishi. So it's great gratitude to our God our founder father and our founder mother. Kwa kutulinda for securing us mwezi wote huu wa 11 the whole month of November. Tumeokolewa na mengi yasiyofaa. It say from all that's not worth it. Paka tena tumepewa siku till again we be given a day ya kukumbushana la Mungu to remind ourselves the word of God. Mlio hapa those who are here na mlio nje kote and those who are outside there all over kwa diaspora in diaspora na dunia nzima and the whole world ambao mmechukua nafasi yenu you have taken your time mmejikana you have denied yourself starehe or the leisure mmekaa you have sat down sikiliza la Mungu to listen to the word of God. Bwana Mungu, may the Lord God, Baba Ibrahim na Isaka na Jacob, of our father Abraham Isaac and Jacob, Mungu wa Baba mwanzilishi, God of our founder father, awabariki nyote tena bless you all. Sana. Amen. Amen. May God bless you so much. Kwa kuchagua fungu jema. For choosing a good portion. Maana leo ni siku nzuri. Because this is a good day. Ya kutembea huko na huko lakini umechagua fungu jema. To two around but to chosen a good portion. Sikiliza na Mungu. To listen to the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Usishangae na jua mna maswali mzee wetu yuko wapi. Don't be surprised who is a elder. Nilimwambia jana aenda Malindi kati ya vivio. I told him to go to Malindi and revive there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeye ni mzima, he is very old. Lakini jana nilimwambia, but yesterday I told him, ah ah, okay no, enda Malindi. Go to Malindi. Kuna umoja. The unity there. Ukawatia vivio. You go and revive them there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wewe yeye uko Malindi? So is in Malindi right now. Na sisi tuko hapa. And we are here. Wewe msio msio na maswali mengi kwani je ni mgonjwa? Okay, is he not well? He's very much okay in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So before we move forward, we asked Pastor Mangale to commence the service without a prayer. Umetulinda siku zote, umetuepusha na kila lisilofaa. Kwa maombi ya mtumishi wako bwana mpaka siku ya leo si kusanyiko baba umetuleta mbele za mtumishi wako. Nashukuru kwa ulinzi wako bwana. Nashukuru kutuleta mbele za mtumishi wako. Asante kwa hiyo siri ambayo umeificha katika moyo wa mtumishi wako tayari ukaweze kutupa asubuhi ya leo bwana. Naomba ye Mungu wa mwanzilishi ukatujalie sisi sote baba kile uliyemkusanya asubuhi ya leo kama ajalie kusikiliza kama ajalie kupokea katujalie utulivu tumsikilize mtumishi wako e bwana tusaidie kumpokea yeye uliyemsimamisha kwa ajili yetu e Mungu wetu asante bwana maana umetenda na umetimiza mokozi 
ni katika jina la Yesu mokozi wetu amen 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 santo bonesh haleluya haleluya amen amen ra iko there's joy Nime na furaha siku zote. I delight myself all day. Because I remember every time where I came from. Vita nimepitia. And the battles I've experienced. Magumu nimepitia. And all the difficulties I've gone through. Tabu nimepitia. And all the afflictions I've gone through. Kristo Yesu Bwana wetu. Christ Jesus our Lord. Alikuja kutuokoa na tabu na mashaka from all these problems. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why every time I remember where I came. When you want to be one of peace, being able to remember where you came from. Where did you come from and where are you right now? You see, whatever is present is nothing to you. You see, the difficulties around you are nothing to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why you thank God on the Father, the founder. The whole month we've been commuting all around. Kitale tare 15 Kitale 15 kutia uvivio wa ubiri maana wamekaa mbalimbali the pictures because they are very far for long tena tukavuka paka Uganda mbale we cross to Uganda mbale huko ni furaha nyingi there's a lot of joy in that area kwa ndugu na wadada to brethren and sisters wote wakawasalimia kwa jina la Yesu all of them greater in the name of Jesus Again we never rested. 22nd we are right here. With all the pictures from the coast region. Together with the ukambani. To strengthen each other in the name of the Lord. Again we never go tired. 29. We were in Temeke Dar es Salaam. To encourage each other. In the work of the Lord. All that is Gladness. and a lot of greetings. They almost stopped us from coming back. They almost stopped us from coming back here. Stay with us here all days. Because they have peace and joy in God of the Father missionary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because they have seen him They've come out of so many tribulations through believing in the Lord Jesus. I also thank God for your prayers. In all those journeys, I'm well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Till today, I'm still all right. May God of the Father bless you so much. All that moving around talking. But I thank God I never coughed. The doctors told me never to work manually. But the Lord Jesus came that we have life and have it abundantly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alikuja, he came to an uzima that we have life to an out and have it abundantly. We've been, I was healed, but I was told, don't sleep on this side. Okay, don't sleep upon the chairs. That is halfway measure. Whenever Jesus comes, he puts life and again abundantly. Abundantly. Hallelujah. 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 Kabisa. Indeed. Kwa hivyo, so we have been brought to remind ourselves the word of God. Because we come from far. And we are still traveling. And whoever is traveling is never tired. So long as he hasn't attained the destiny. The snow was healed and said it's enough. The snow was blessed and said it's enough. The snow was saved and said it's enough. The heart of anyone being is seeking for peace and peace. And peace is found in God. Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He who forsook the throne and came under the sun. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was crucified with the cross. 
then came down on the third day he rose from the tomb he came up and overcame death hallelujah, hallelujah. Ati, ati, the zet. handwriting of ordinances he nailed on the cross. Ile, that condemnation. He erased. And nailed on the cross. He made it to be a memory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na mimi, so that you and I, yeye, whenever we believe in him, msama, you get the forgiveness of our sins. And make us new creatures. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Because he came to save human beings from their sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So rejoice that way. Even if the stimulation around yes, you, Jesus came amani, that you have peace. Kitu, kitu what he's seeking ni we umamini, is you to believe in him. Umamini, you believe in him, na then you learn to walk in his ordinances. Anasema, That's why he says katika Biblia, in the Bible, kukisoma zaburi moja, when you read Psalms, anasema, hey, he said, Blessed is that one who goes by the ways of the Lord. Who doesn't walk in the way of the ungodly? Who doesn't sit on the way of the sinners? One who is pleased by the law of the Lord. That one is blessed. Even if there's nothing good around him. But because he's pleased by the law of the Lord. It's what is pleased in. And learning to do the law of God. He says, that one will be blessed. That one will be blessed. Even if you don't see him, but because. He's upholding the law of God. And he's learning to go by them. Learning to forgive those who wrong him. Learning to love those who don't love God. Learning to follow peace with all. And learning to serve God. Even if it's not blessed. Because it's pleased by the law of the Lord. Tomorrow, he'll be blessed. And, heri, and the blessing and, heri, and the blessing and, is, and a lot of blessing. Psalms 1 from verse 1. You go down to verse 3. And you read Psalms 1 from verse 1. You go down to verse 3. Heri mtuyule asie kwenda katika shauri la wasio haki wala hakusimama katika njia ya wakosaji. Wala hakuketi barazani pawenye mizaha Bali sheria ya buwana ndiyo impendezayo Na sheria yake huitafakari mchana na usiku Nae atakuwa kama mti uliopandwa Kando kando ya vijito vya maji Uzao matunda yake kwa majira yake Wala jani lake halinyauki Na kila alitendalo litafanikiwa Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Even if you are so weak, however weak you are, even if you are totally destitute, but be enabled not to go by the counsel of the ungodly, and be enabled not to stand in the way of sinners or sitting in the council of the scholars but be enabled in your heart to be pleased by the law of the Lord learning to abide in the law of God learning to abide in the word of God even if there's nothing good in your life delaying is nothing tomorrow good things will come 
haijalishi huwa jana it doesn't matter you came the other day muradi unapendezwa na sheria yako so you must be pleased by his law pa uchache wako unapendezwa na sheria yako let you have your peace by his law watu wakitoa vyao vingi when people give their riches wewe nawe vitache uko pale pale you the little you have you engage sheria hiyo haitimizi that law you fulfill unajifunza you are learning usamewa kukosea to forgive those wrong you moyoni mwako unajifunza to learn kutokuwa na neno na mtu not to have anything against anyone hata kama huna mbele wala nyuma whatever destitute you are kwa sababu unapendezwa na sheria yako bwana by the law of the law Kesho. tomorrow heri itakuja pale the blessedness will Mano, come bwana mungu because the lord god na kristo bwana wetu and christ our lord wanakaa ndani ya mtu they stay in one ajizoezaye kuenda katika sheria who exercise to go by the law hata kama huna mema however destined you are lakini unafurahia sheria ya mungu but delight in the law of god Kesho. Tomorrow utakuwa pale kwenye you will not be where you are. Kristo Yesu bwana wetu. Christ Jesus our Lord. Anasema mimi sikuja kuwaita wenye haki. I never came to call the righteous. Bali wenye dhambi watu. But the sinners to repent. Na kutubu ni kule kugeuka. And repentance is reforming. Kufanya yale mapya ya Kristo Yesu. The new of Christ Jesus. Mungu ataonekana mimi. God shall be seen in our lives. Mungu ataonekana mimi. God shall be seen in our lives. Maana yeye hana upendeleo. It's no respect of persons. Hana upendeleo. It's no respect of persons. Upendeleo hana. He's no respect of persons. Kwamba uende kwa njia za haki that you go to the unrighteous way. Tena kile utendalo ufanikiwe yeye hana upendo. Then you succeed in whatever you do he's no respect of persons. Uende katika njia za haki. You don't go by the Hallelujah. Uende katika njia za haki. You go by the unrighteous way. Hivyo, then him to prosper you. Hana upendo. He's no respect of persons. Haleluya. Haleluya. Akali na wasioenda katika njia zake. He doesn't stay with those who don't walk by his ways. Ndoweza kuona mtu mara amenuka. Sasa you can see one has gone up, at times he comes down. Mara mema, mara at times good things, at times bad things. Kwa nini unakufanikiwa? Why don't you have this prosperity? Kwa nini utendalo? Why whatever you do halifanikiwi kuendelea? Doesn't prosper to continue going forward. Haleluya. Haleluya. Kumwangalia sana mtu kama huyu. Team very well. Au kijana kama huyo. Maybe such a young man. Leo ameshikwa mkono kibarua kesho. Today is employed, employed, tomorrow is not employed just a casual. Huyo mtu hana njia za haki. This one doesn't have the righteous ways. Huyo mtu anakaa barazani la watu wako saji. This one is sitting in the council of the sinners. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Ana mija anayeingia. There's a city he gets to. Ya anasa of pleasures, ya uongo and lies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isio ya haki. That are not righteous. Ndio maana. That's why kufanikiwa kwake his prosperity akuendelee is not continuous hallelujah hallelujah na mungu hana upendeleo and god is not respect of persons hana upendeleo there's no respect of persons kwamba uende katika njia hizo za haki that you go by the unrighteous way tena akupendelee afanikishe he favors you and prospers you hana upendeleo there's no respect of persons hallelujah hallelujah tusubiri tena hapo we'll press again the same wala hakuketi barazani pa wenye mizaha bali sheria ya Bwana ndiyo impendezayo na sheria yake huitafakari mchana na usiku naye atakuwa kama mti uliopandwa kando kando ya vijito vya maji uzao matunda yake kwa majira yake wala jani lake halinyauki na kila litendalo litafanikiwa blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of the sinners no seated in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the lord and in his law doth he meditate day and night and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season his leaves also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper hallelujah hallelujah heri mtu yule blesses is that man bona mtu why heri One who is not Leo amani nyumbani today kesho peace at home tomorrow no peace Leo mwangaza kesho ni day light tomorrow darkness Hallelujah Hallelujah Oh nilikuwa nimeona mwangaza huu Okay I send this light Naomba mniombe I ask you to pray for me Oh nilikuwa nimeshikwa mkono wako okay, hapa Okay I was here Ah ah mtu huyu ukimwangalia huyu This person I look at him strictly Ana mahali anaenda njia za wakosaji Point is going to the way of the ungodly Amen Amen ana mahali huyu anaendea njia za wakosaji sheria ya Mungu haiko hapa ndani the law of god is not in him ana mahali haenendi katika sheria ya Mungu the point doesn't go by the law of god 
Leo Amani, Kesho tomorrow good. peace, tomorrow no peace. Leo Fra, tomorrow Kesho joy. Leo Mema, Kesho today Mema. good things, tomorrow nothing good. Na Mungu anasema, and God says, kila litendalo mtu huyo, whatever this man does, ambaye sheria ya Bwana ndio inayompendeza, whom is pleased in the love of the Lord, atakuwa kana kama jani, it shall be like a leaf, ambalo halinyauki, that will never wither. Na kila litendalo, whatever he does, kila litendalo, whatever he does, kila litendalo, whatever he does, litafanikiwa, shall prosper. Kila litendalo, whatever he does, litafanikiwa, shall prosper. Kila litendalo, whatever he does, litafanikiwa, shall prosper. Ili Mungu atukuze for God to be glorified. Na Mungu anataka atukuze. And God wants to be glorified. Katika maisha yako na yangu. In your life and my life too. Lakini ataitaje utukufu wake kwako? How do you bring his glory unto you? Na mara umeenda kwa shauri ya mataifa. When you go to the gentile. Mara weza kashirika. At times you can be upset. Hata ndugu ashangae. Brethren to be surprised with you. Na ndiye ndugu huyu wao ni mwingine. Is it only the same brother or someone else? Na ndio yeye. Yes, the same. Is the same person. Watu wanashangaa. People shocked with you and kamba. Hai. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hata Mungu alikuwa karibu afanikishe pale na sisi. Next to do something he hesitates. Maana umeacha sheria yako. Because of for second is law. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio utasema watu wananionea. Sasa say people press me. Kuna watu wanatia fitina hapa kazini. People shall discord at place of work. Hapana. Ah, okay no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mungu anasema. God says Anaye nenda katika njia zangu, one who goes by my ways. Adui zake, his enemies. Watakuja kwa njia moja watatawanyika na kuenda. Will all scatter. Maana yeye ndiye atakayekutetea. Because he's the one will vindicate for you. Wewe mara mwangaza au mara bisi. Time light at times darkness to you. Ni sheria ya nani iko hapa moyoni mwako? Whose law is present in you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na Yesu alikuja. And Jesus came. Tuwe na amani tuwe na peace and have it in plenty. Tuwe na furaha tuwe na joy and have it in plenty. Tuwe na uzima tuwe na life and have it abundantly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So angalia sana. Now look very well. Mji huu sio dumu. This city that's not permanent. Fanikiwa na kuendelea na amani. Prosperity continuous and peace. Hii sheria ya Mungu. The law of God. Enyi waume kaini na wakezenu kwa akili. You husband stay with your wife with knowledge. Na kumpa mke heshima ni chombo kidogo. Sheria hii ndio na itafadhali kila siku. Do you meditate every day? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maana anasema because it says ili maombi yenu so that your prayers yasizuiliwe may not be hindered. Mwe warithi wa uzima. Be the hairs of life. Ya neema ya Mungu of the grace of God na kila muombalo Mungu asikie and whatever you pray God will hear you waume you husbands kaeni na wake zenu kwa akili with the wife's knowledge na kumpa mke heshima and giving honor to the wife bana ni chombo kidhaifu kinyonge a weak vessel ni rahisi kuvunjika moyo is it to be discarded rahisi kukata tamaa very easy to fail hallelujah hallelujah Je, sheria hii unapendeza wewe kila saa? Are you pleased with every day? Ah, leo ni amani okay, kesho wewe ni mjinga una mara wewe ni stupid with type of woman are you? Ndio utaona mara mwangaza na kila saa. Sheria light in your works. Una plus plus nyingi za so maendeleo. Plans of progress. Lakini mara umeacha sheria. But at times you forsake the law. Umehuzunisha mtu mke ambaye alitwa ni dhaifu. A woman who was called to be weak. Umeunga malala zote za wazazi. You confessed of the curses. Ambazo Ronaldo zinafanya mtu asibarika. You will feel the hinder. Lakini hii ni lana kubwa. But this is a great curse. Kuhuzunisha mtu mke ndani ya nyumba. A woman in the house. Hata ajute that he she ends up regretting. Hata kule moyoni aseme. In a heart she later on says Sitaki kuacha watoto wangu waje wateswe na mama wakao. To leave my children here to be persecuted. Maana hivyo nikasema nafunga. Should I pack and go? Ni muache na mji wake. Eh leave him oh, with his kesho, My children tomorrow mungu. someone else will come here. Sasa yuko pale kweli. Now, she's there truly. Kwa sababu tu wanangu hao. Oh my children here. Lakini moyoni. But in her heart. Amechoka. She's tired. Mana huna maneno ya kujenga you don't have a manner to identify you don't have the word to honor huna maneno ya kutambua mtu huyu don't recognize this person nao utakuwa na plus plus and you be having so many plans za maendeleo of progress lakini kufanikiwa but success hakutakuja kama unavyotarajia as you expect Jaso litakuwa nyingi truly, lakini mafanikio ni machache but the harvest is very less maana sheria ya Bwana because the love god sio inayokupendeza is not pleasing you inayosema yenyi waume that says you husbands kaeni na wake zenu kwa wives with the knowledge na kumpa mke heshima and giving honor to the wife wewe unaweza kunywa kombe cha chai na ushinde kwa kapo of tea and stay the whole day yeah, she can't do that 
Waondoka nataka umwachie mfuko wa uji. When you're leaving you need to leave a packet of flour. Hayo ulimwachia mfuko wa uji jana na juzi. You left the packet there. Akisema umeisha unasema wewe unakula kama nini? It's finished you question how do you eat here? Kazi afanyazo yeye. Okay the care she does. Ni nyingi sana. As so many. Nataka ale ashibe. She ought to be filled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She has to eat and be filled. The entire home, she's managing everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She's managing the home. The children. Okay, their greatest teacher is the mother. As a father, you stay outside for months, moving around. She's managing the home. This person you are grieving her. God will be very far from you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio naona hapa Afrika. Sasa si in Africa. 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 Tunifundishwa muke si wa kusikiliza. You can't listen to your wife. You need to be pushed away. You need to push her away every time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini ndugu zetu wale kutoka Brethren from hata nikanyanya amesikia however all they are they are holding their hearts. My darling how are you? Okay darling darling. Hata nikanyanya yuko. They are very old but holding their hands. Amen. Amen. They were mepewa marifa yote. That's why they've been given all the prudence. Na amani yote. And all the peace. Maana kwa tabia zao. Because through their conduct. Hata kama hawajui Mungu. Even if they don't know God. Lakini kwa tabia zao. Through their conduct. Walifundishwa muke si mtu wa kuhuzunisha. You don't need to grieve your wife. Hatibi wala hatukani. She's not supposed to be revived. Hata neri yeye akupige okay. kofi. It's better for her to slap you. Lakini wewe usimpige. But kofi. don't slap her back. Ndio maana Mungu amefungulia marifa yote. That's why God has given them all the wisdom. Hazina zote. All the treasures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini sisi hapa kwetu chonyi but hapa. In our place chonyi here. Tunafundishwa muke achekewe. We were taught you don't need to laugh to wife. Wewe ukushinda na muke tu hapo. You can't stay with the wife around you. Uende mtaani. Okay, you don't go to the village. Wende uonje kidogo. You got this to the village and test Tija something. Mkali. When you come you're very hard. Bana kuchekea chekea bana. Okay, mana. don't laugh your wife. Ndio hata elimu iko. That's why the knowledge is there. Lakini unaona watu ni waoga. But people are very waoga na kufanya maendeleo. You are panicking to progress. Waoga na kufanya maendeleo. They fear to make progress. Ujenga nyumba ya amani utaromba. Those structures and good house will be bewitched. Ndio utaona wana elimu wako huko juu juu. That's why here and they are very up there. Haleluya. Haleluya. Maana sheria ya Mungu hii the Lord God here. Kwa tabia zetu through our conduct. Ya kuheshimu muke haimo. Oh, honoring a wife is not there. Ndio maana wa ndugu mnaweza kuwa na bidii hii. You may be diligent truly. Lakini neno hili hili. But this matter here. Ndio kufanikiwa sio. Is what make the prosperity not to come. Mko nayo kweli. You have all the diligence. Lakini ile neno hili. But this word here. Tusomee tena alafu tusomee waraka wa Petro wa kwanza. Then we go to first Peter. Ndio hata kanisa hili Mungu anatusomea. Like Chat read for us. Heri mtu yule asiyekwenda katika shauri la wasio haki wala hakusimama katika njia ya wakosaji. Wala hakuketi barazani pa wenye mizaha bali sheria ya Bwana ndiyo impendezayo. Na sheria yake huitafakari mchana na usiku naye atakuwa kama mti uliopandwa. Kando kando ya vijito vya maji uzao matunda yake kwa majira yake wala jani lake halinyauki na kila litendalo litafanikiwa blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful <coughs> but his delight is in the law of the lord and in his law doth he meditate day and night and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kabisa. Indeed. Anasema na kila alitendalo. He says, and whatever he does, nitafanikiwa. Shall prosper. Kila alitendalo. Whatever he does, nitafanikiwa. Shall prosper. Ndiyo tuko hapa. That's why we are here. Mana kulikuwa na mtu wa jeshi kaili. Because we had a man that appealed this one. Learning to abide in the law of God. Akawa na muhubiri wake baba missionary. He had his preacher, our father missionary. Kijana mdogo sana. Very young boy. Lakini anamuona ana nguvu za Mungu. But he sing him with the power of God. Mungu anamsikia. God hears him. Na yeye anataka asikiwe kama vile yule. He wants to be heard like this young man here. Kwa umri yeye ni kijana huyo muhubiri. With the age the guy is. Anasema siku moja nikamuuliza. He says one day I question him. Na wewe? And you? Hizi nguvu za Mungu unazitoa. The power of God where do you get them from? Anasema akaniambia He says he told me Ukitaka Mungu akusikie Simu mkeo Ona your wife 
love umtafute kwa bidii kumjenga kwa njia yote you seek brilliantly to edify ile amani yake her peace hata ana nguo moja she has one dress lakini ana amani but she has peace haoni ni kwa sababu wewe hutaki she doesn't feel that you are not providing anakuelewa ni kwa sababu hela huna she understands you don't have money au ni kwa sababu zina kazi ambayo ni muhimu or maybe you are busy doing other stuff ana radhi she is contented maana si kwamba wamufichia ile amani yake ile her peace hata amekula uji she has eaten porridge lakini anajua si kwamba mume ameni amenitesa know that my husband is a sababu hajafanikiwa it is because it's not succeed hallelujah hallelujah lakini ana imani na mimi but he has faith with me ana imani na mimi he believes in me ana imani na mimi he trust in me ile amani yake ile her peace Maombi yako Mungu atas. Your prayers God will hear them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, okay. Anasema mimi nilipojua hilo. He says once I knew that. Hata kuni nilichochea kuni. In fact I could go ahead. Yeye anafua kule. She's washing this side. Na hapa pengine kuna mboga zinapigwa baraka. And the bread is being cooked here. Na kuni zimechomeka paka zimetoka nje na wewe. There's no more fire that I add fire. Oh makaya ameisha kwa jiko na ongeza na. Chakula is not there I add Mana natafuta Mungu alisema because I'm seeking God to hear me. Paka yeye mwenyewe mama akasema Until the mother said kazi hizo unazifanya kweli. The works you do truly. Lakini hata watu wakikuona even if people see should be people see. Mimi muzima. I'm here very much Lakini wewe unawasha jiko. But you are lighting up a jiko. Watochea moto and putting more charcoal. Watasemaje? What will they say? Ah ah ni achie hizo kazi zangu. Okay, give me those cares. Kumbe yeye yet anataka amani. He wants peace. Ili huyu mama huyu. So that the mother here awe na amani ya kwamba peace da. Mzee wangu huyu. My husband here hana neno na mimi. Has nothing against him. Imani na mimi. She trust in he trust in me. Enda he loves me. Na alipotia hilo kwa matendo. Once he put that into action. Mungu akaanza kumsikia. God started hearing him. Haleluya. Akampa ufunuo. Hao unaoaombea tu wazikoni. Wana maneno ya kuongea. They have issues to share. Wana maneno ya kutubu. They have issues to repent. Kuna dhambi lazima wasemwe. Akapewa ufunuo. He was given that revelation. Kwa kushika neno la Mungu. Through up calling the word of God. Leo leo maona tuko hapa. Today you see we are here. Tunaombeana. You are praying for each other. Naaminie Mungu anafanya kazi. Believes God works in him. Because Baba yetu, our Father, alishika neno la Mungu. Upheld the word of God. Haleluya! Haleluya! Tuko hapa bure. We are not here in vain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Leo wewe uache hili hili. Today you forsake this. Uache hili hili. You forsake this word. Wishi bila wewe unavyotaka. And live as you wish. Ukitaka kusirika ukasirika. If you want to get a place in the world. If you want to insult your wife. Unasema mwanamke wewe ni pumbavu mjinga huna maana. If you want to despise your wife you go ahead. Ah ni sawa. Okay it's okay. Lakini but anasema bwana he says the law maombi yako hayatasikiwa na Mungu will not hear your prayers maana umeacha kwenda katika njia za bwana because of a second going by the way unakaa katika shauri la wasio haki maana hii ndio kazi ya wasio haki this is the work of their god insulting garau kufedhesha maana yeye hajui kupigana she doesn't know how to fight hata ukimtukana kufedhesha na jamaza dismay her she's quiet hallelujah hallelujah maana yeye anaitwa mgeni because she called to be a visitor mgeni a visitor hana vita she can't fight you mgeni ni ufanye vita in the foreign place you fight na wenyeji pale wana panga wana marungu wana nini and the residents have the weapons ni mgeni tu umekuja na kikapu chako as a visitor you come with a bag only sasa utete na you argue utamkutukana yeye ananyamaza you will insult her she just quiet lakini nawe Mungu anakaa kando na but god will be very maana umeenda kwa shauri la wasio hapo gone by the counsel of the ungodly utakuwa na plus plus zako having so many plans ukeshe nazo na my laptop yako with your laptops lakini hayatafanya kazi they never work na hata kama yatafanya kazi even if they work ni kama mwangaza kidogo mara jua limetua dim light then it goes away haleluya haleluya maana unaenda katika shauri la wasio haki you go by the counsel of the ungodly sheria ya bwana upendezi nayo no god are not pleased with it ndio mimi nikafunuka neno that's why i was told this word ni mtu wa uchungu sana i'm one of bitterness every time niliona manyonge i saw so many weaknesses a lot of weakness to my children okay Teka na kwamba mtu aliroga na kafa huyo mtu. Like one bewitched me and died. Amen. Amen. 
That's why I was taught Rimba. You stay in a Chonyi type. You can't listen to your wife. Okay, as a Chonyi, you can't listen to your wife. You don't take her idea. You was is your own. Even if she, you say, that's a woman to you, you can't listen. And they don't force you. She gives something like a I feel would have done this. And I, I feel would have cultivated And I feel would have done this. Ah, wait, 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 okay, go away. You never prosper. Amen. Amen. First Peter 1 7. He says, hey, You husbands dwell with your wives with knowledge and giving one of the wives as a weaker vessel. That's what will be hairs of life and your prayers. God will hear them. They will not be hindered. You say, I don't know which tribe I come from. I don't know which tribe I come from. That you'll stay with your culture. And God won't work with you. You'll stay with your culture. And boasting all. Fighting people. And God won't work with you. Even if we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God won't work. It's until you get out of the culture and come to that of Jesus and be a new creature. Because the Bible says that when one is in Christ, the old has passed away. You still have the old state that you can listen to your wife. Because because she came, I don't know this one came with money she was paid. We have issues about your grandparents. I know those that you paid for, you can't listen to her. And that, that the cattle was paid is better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You still have that culture with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like, be here and look. No. You are diligent to confess sin every time. But seek to be new creatures. Getting out of the old. The counsel of the gentiles. And seek to be new creatures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Doesn't God will work with you. Because our father missionary and our father mother. They forsook all the homes with gold. And left their culture and came to a new place. Amen. Amen. That's why you're here. We are the missionary among the saints of the father missionary upon the mother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They never mixed up. Read for us first Peter 3 7. Kadalka, ninyi waume kaeni na wakezenu kwa akili, na kumpa mke heshima kama chombo kisicho na nguvu, na kama warithi pamoja wanema ya uzima, kusudi kuomba kwenu kusizuliwe. Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto a weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. He says, You husbands, you dwell with the wives with knowledge. Not by faith, but by knowledge. Don't live with your wife by, no, by faith, but by knowledge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You stay with them with knowledge. Knowledge knows this one. Her joy is this thing here. You have nothing with you. You go borrow for this person to be joyful. Knowledge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But she's asking for something. You say, now where should I get it from? You know I'm not employed. That is upon you. Seek for the way and bring peace here. Who told you not to be employed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Sasa yeye akae hivyo. Now she states na, na that she, ona, sasa, she has the need, need to say you are not employed. Sasa wewe ukisema hivyo yeye afanyeje? When you say that what should she do? Wewe mwanaume tunawasema sasa mimi waniuliza mimi nifanyeje? You say what should I do then? Yeye afanyeje sasa? Her to to do what? Na Mungu wake ni wewe and her God is you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeye akiwa na mahitaji anakuja kwa Mungu. When she comes, nataka hiki nataka hiki. Okay, one thing. Alafu wewe upige magoti sasa. Then you kneel down. Bwana nifanyie mlango. Lord make a way for me. Maana ulisema sasa tuna wa nyumbani mwako. One can't manage the whole. Ni more of hata kuliko mtu asiye. More evil than that one who doesn't. Wewe wasema mimi nifanyie. You say what should I do then? Give it how then? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wewe unasema mimi nifanyie ni kivipi? What should I do? How? Ndio, mnaweza kuona sasa you can see tuko mbele za Mungu hapa. Before God who blesses. Lakini Kristo Yesu anashindwa kufanya kazi. Now he fails to work. Maana una hali ambayo inazuia Kristo Yesu kufanya kazi. You have a state hindering Jesus to work in you. Una utu ambao you have a state that unafanya Yesu aweze kufanya kazi na Jesus not to work in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kabisa. Indeed. Ndio mkae kanisani you stay in charge. Na wewe ngitangu muokoke and many from the time you are saved. Mmetubulana, you've repented of the curses. Na mnaendelea kutubu and you continue repenting na kuzungumuza and sharing them. Lakini but hamkae kwa maneno ya Kristo. You don't abide by the words of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mtu akisikia kutukana anaweza when one feels to insult he can akisikia kusiwa anaweza when he feels to ridicule he can go ahead akisikia kusirika anaweza kusirika when he goes up say that is it tena sema bwana zikiwa wangu says praise god brethren hali hii this stage inamuzurisha roho wa mungu grieve the spirit of god hallelujah hallelujah ndio anasema that's why he says anaheri yule blessed is that one ambaye sheria ya mungu whom the law god yeye nayo mpendeze is what is placed with hata anapoenda kidogo when he goes contrary astray the condemnation of god is lord forgive me for uttering this apelezwa na sheria ya mungu one is pleased by the lord god hata hajapoji kwa kidogo whenever i stumble no one me do you feel him regret bwana nimehuzunisha ndugu why have i grieved this bwana nimehuzunisha dada why have i offended this sister bwana nimetamka yale why have i uttered this ana hukumu ya mungu he has the condemnation of god ya mungu sasa he is returning to god every time kosea kuko there's error lakini ambaye sheria ya mungu ndiye anampendeza one whom is pleased by the lord god kaona saa yote anakumrudia see every time he is returning saa yote ana trouble ya kumrudia every time that repentance will return to god bwana sheria ya mungu because the lord god ndiye anayompendeza is what pleases him utaona mtu kama huyu njia zake zinafaa his ways prosper awazalo mungu anafungua whatever he thinks god makes it happen afikirilo mungu anafungua whatever he imagines god makes a way ngiza kesho utaona mwangazo what is darkness the light tomorrow maana sheria ya mungu because the law of god ndio inayompendeza is what pleases him aende mbali amekuja he doesn't go far here aende mbali amemrudia he can't go far he returns to go Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na huo ndio utakatifu ambayo bwana anasema the lord says bila huo uweze without which you can't see him Amen. Amen. Ndio wa mama wanatabuni. Sasa these women are really suffering. Wanaishi mjini kwa sababu they live in the house because niache wanangu hawa. I leave my children here and leave. Niache wanangu hawa. I leave my children and go why? Niko mule. Niache wanangu. I forsake my children here. Yesu aje wateso hapa. Tomorrow to be afflicted. Niko hapa. I'm right here. Hata kama kutaletwa mwingine niko hapa. If one will be brought here I'm right here. Nione wanangu mwenyewe. I keep my children myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Basi unapoishi na mama na na huzuni hivi. Now whenever you live with a wife grieved, anajuta hivyo. She's regretting that way. Hakuna Mungu atafanya kazi. There's nothing God will make away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hakuna Mungu hapo atafanya kazi. There's nothing God will make away here. Maana wewe hujakuwa kiumbe kile. Because you're not a new creature. Paulo akasema Paul said tazama mtu akiwa ndani ya Kristo Yesu one is in Christ Jesus ya kale ya the Paul has passed away tazama yamekuwa and it has become new Tusomee tena hapa Will for us again the same Ndio anasema kadhalika ni Sasa it says likewise kaeni na wakazenu kwa akili Stay with your wife with knowledge Hallelujah Hallelujah 
Heshima. And giving honor to the wife. She's a weaker vessel. Very easy to be discouraged. And very easy to faint. Very easy. You encourage her. You will be the heirs of life. Your prayers won't be hindered. Your prayers are your thoughts. And the great plans you have of progress. You see God is shining up. Mana, because you have one mind with her. That's That's a, they say, when the husband ah, goes to a society, as a wife who stay overnight, stepping on the Mana cooking stones, the meaning is you have one mind. Moja. One mind. Moja. One mind. One mind. She knows we've eaten correct. But now that the husband has not got it's only that he has not succeeded. Mana he understands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She knows if he has something, Azui. he can't fail to bring something. Imani na wewe. She trusts you. And you too, whatever you do will prosper. Whatever you do will prosper. Because she kneeled down. Okay, God of Abraham, 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 prosper my husband. Wherever I go, Lord, make a way. He'll prosper. He'll prosper him. A wife to kneel down and pray for you. Their prayers God hears. And again, they have no hindrance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Their prayers, those who are called to be weak, without anything against anyone, the weak, their prayers, are hard by God. Whenever they shed tears, now you make her to cry Mano because of sorrow, because you insulted her. It's a very great curse. More than insulting your parents. If you don't know, she goes ahead and cries. Because of this made her. You've made her nothing. She's regretting. She's thinking, why did I come here? This weak person. This weak person here. These are cars and God will not work. Hallelujah. You'll be having very great contacts and thinking of mega progress. But they never work. Because of forsaken the love of God. Amen. Amen. Together with your title as a bishop, but God won't prosper. Hallelujah. 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 Good for us again the same. As I stay here, and you observe this word. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You observe this word very well. If you want to prosper, I was taught that way. So, man, wait for us. Kadalka, Nini Waume, Kaini, Nawakezenu, Kwakili, Nakumpa Muke, Heshima, Kama Chombo, Kisicho, Nangufu, Nakama Warithi, Pamoja, Wanema, Yauzima, Usudi, Kuombakwenu, Kusizuliwe. Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kabisa. Indeed. And that is very true. And you too as a mother, however the husband is ridiculing you, when he comes from his journey, you do good. Accept to be weak. Because a weak person can't argue. A weak person accepts everything. She can't revile back. She can't ridicule back. She has been dismayed. She can't dismay back. Accept to be weak. And accept to be weak. God Himself will vindicate for you and change all the evil here. He'll change all the evil. He'll change the evil. But some are not weak. Some are not weak. 
Ukiambiwa okay, mjinga when you told you stupid wewe nao unasema kama mimi ni mjinga you said if i'm stupid wewe umerevu mbona ulikuja kwa mimi mjinga the wise you are why did you come to me as stupid wewe nao umeregesha mafiozi na so you also ridicule back kama wewe ni mrefu if you are so wise mbona ulitumwa kwangu mimi mjinga why are you saying to me as stupid person muita ni mjinga that way you are calling him to be stupid maana umetukana because you've insulted hallelujah hallelujah sasa si munyonge wewe nao una nguvu hata as a weak person lakini munyonge a weak person ah asiolei mtu okay she can't amemwacha yesu amtetee yeye she has left jesus to vindicate her amemwachia mungu amtetee yeye she has given god a chance to vindicate for her haleluya haleluya amemwachia mungu amtetee yeye given god a chance to vindicate for her sasa kule kutulia na kuwa na amani settling down and having peace na kutolipiza mabaya and not paying back hivyo umemwachia mungu akutetee given god to vindicate for you na atakutetea and he'll vindicate for you truly kwa hivyo muwe wanyonge so be weak haleluya haleluya ndio anavyosema hapa that's what it says here Eh hey, ni waume you are husbands kaeni na wake zenu stay with your wives eh hey. Okay. Kumpa mke heshima giving all of the wife kama chombo kisicho na nguvu as a weaker vessel. Haya wewe una nguvu za kutukana. Now you have the power to fight. Haya Mungu anakuacha na nguvu zako. Now God gives you a chance with your Haya jitetee wewe. Go ahead and defend yourself. Lakini asiye na nguvu but one is weak hajitetei can defend herself ananyamaza she goes quiet kana kwamba hana ulimi hana mdomo she doesn't have the tongue to respond na amenyamaza kwa mdomoni and she's quiet to hata hapa moyoni napo amenyamaza even in the heart she's quiet maana mwingine amenyamaza one is quiet to the mouth lakini hapa ndani ya moyo but down in the heart kama mimi ni mjinga if i'm stupid wewe mwerevu mbona wewe una ana as the she is speaking inside that bado wewe ni mwenye nguvu you are still one with the ability maana hapo moyoni nawe unatukana in your heart you are fine haleluya haleluya kwa hivyo uwe mnyonge kwa hapa be weak in your mouth na hapa ndani uwe mnyonge also in your heart be bwana mungu the lord god haleluya haleluya na kristo bwana wetu christ our lord atakuja akutetee will come and defend atakuja akutetee will come and defend maana alikuja kuokoa wanyonge because he came to save the weak alikuja kuokoa wanyonge he came to save the weak si wenye nguvu no those with the power do utaona wenzetu wa kule west side doesn't see our brethren also there bara ya ulaya overseas baraka ziko nyingi there are so many blessings maana walifurusha leo hii because they were told this word kumuhesabu mke ni mnyonge esteeming the wife to be weak sheria huko it is a law that a big way you can't hit your wife you gufu mnyonge when you hit a weak person jela. that's why you are jail maana umeonea mnyonge because you oppress the weak haleluya haleluya ndio unaona wana uvumbuzi mwingi them to they have a lot of revolutions a lot of prudence na maendeleo mengi and a lot of progress hata sisi tunaomba huko in fact we, we borrow from them every time haleluya haleluya kabisa ndio maana wanashika neno hili because they have pull this word wanaenenda katika sheria ya bwana go by the law of the law wakai kwa shauri ya mataifa they don't stay in the council of the gentiles wa mizaa in constant matukano and insults wanaheshimu mtu aitwaye they honor someone called a wife haleluya 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 kabisa indeed ndio utaona nchi zile zimebarikiwa they are so blessed na marifa mengi a lot of wisdom with them zina amani nyingi they have a lot of peace with them na marifa mengi ambayo hapa and a lot of knowledge that nasi kwamba hatuwezi kuwa na marifa know that we can't have the same knowledge haleluya haleluya tunaona mtu akipata madaraka so when one get the promotion with a car haya amejaa mipango ya okay it's full of extra marital affairs akiwa na elfu huko na elfu when he has the notes in the pocket the wife is nothing to him moving around here haleluya haleluya okay aje okay Amen. Amen. Wale hata kama wakoje. However they are our brethren overseas. Maana huyu kama ni mkongwe. Because if this one is stricken in age. Hata wewe nawe ni mkongwe. You too you are stricken in age. Simuleona mkiwa vijana. You are married when you are youth. Ikiwa huyu amezeka na wewe. This one is old you are also old. Utaona ameshikana. You see them holding their hands. Bado nimemshapo. They are still lovers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abish. Indeed. Amen. Amen. Kwa hivyo so na hili ndio neno baba yetu alishika hili the, the word our father appeared ndio Mungu akamshikia kwa leo God had him even today Na mimi mwaacha maneno haya and you for sickness una swa mambo yenu humu humu ni mkoo huu boss and fabricator mtu akitaka kufanya lakini when one do is only goes ahead kwa 
when he goes to kwa magesti wanaenda the guest they go ahead tena mwataka mungu afanye kazi wanaenda go to work with you we uko kwa shauri la wasio hapa are in the council of the ungodly na njia za wakosaji and the ways of the transgressors tena wataka mungu aonekane kwa he want go to be seen in you aonekane him to show up in you he can't do that hata ukasemaje whatever you say haleluya haleluya paka mtoke huko until you come to the mungu and come to that of god Haleluya. Haleluya. Maana Yesu because Jesus alikuja kuokoa watu wake. Came to save his people. Watu wake ni wakana nani? Who are they? Wale wa mwamini hiyo. Those who believe in him. Na wale wajufunzao. Those who learn. Wenenda katika njia za haki. Go by the rest of them. Hao ndio watu wake. Those are his people. Maana kinasema chuo. Because the Bible says. Maria mtazama mwana. Mary will be gather child. Utamuita jina lake Yesu. And call him Jesus. Maana yeye ataokoa watu wake. Because he will save his people. Na dhambi zao. Watu wake ni wakana nani? Who are they? Wale wa muaminio. Those who believe in him. Na wale waendao katika sheria zake. And those who go by his law. Ndio watu wake are his people. Amen. Amen. Maana mahali pengine anasema Mungu ni mwema kwa Israeli. God is good to Israel. Lakini si Israeli wote. Not to all the Israelis. Na wale waendao katika njia zake. So those who go by the righteous ways. Hallelujah. 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 Ni mwema kwa Israeli. He is good to Israel. Na wale waendao to those who go by katika njia za haki the righteous ways wale wenye meyo safi those with pure hearts wanaojifunza kukaa kwa sheria ya bwana so learn to abide in the law of the lord katika upungufu wanamtolea mungu wao changes they give to their god katika vingi waamwachi mungu wao in plentiness they don't forsake their god and other bill tithe and offerings ndio furaha ya meyo yao and their delightment of the heart wote wana wana deni jumapili yaja the sunday is coming mtamtolea mimi mungu wangu what will i give to god wana deni hilo kila saa Dead every time. Katika upungufu hawaji Mungu wao. Shot they don't forsake their God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hao ndio Bwana anaonekana. Those are the ones God shows up to them. Amen. Amen. Hao ndio Bwana anaonekana. Those are the ones God manifest himself to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tusomee tena hapo. Good place again the same. Ni pazuri sana. It's a very good place. Hapo waraka wa Petro. First Peter, Shipao Gope 37. Hapo hapo hapo. Right there. Kadalka ninyi waume kaeni na wake zenu kwa akili na kumpa mke heshima kama chombo kisicho na nguvu na kama warithi pamoja wa neema ya uzima usudi kuomba kwenu kusizuuliwe Likewise ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel and as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers be not hindered ndio mimi nikafundishwa as I, i was taught right here kila saa nimejaa uchungu nyumbani every time i'm upset kila saa nimanungunika nyumbani every time murmuring nina visheria yangu nimeziweka i have my law set vinanitia uchungu kila saa they get me to beat and every time ndio jinsi niliingia hapa la miss sasa the other day i came on thursday kasikia mhubiri anahubiri i had the preacher minister kuokoka ni neema salvation is the grace hallelujah hallelujah ni utake mwenyewe it's until you will as a person mungu aokoe mtu kwa nguvu god doesn't save one by force kasema hiyo ni kweli i said that is very true hallelujah hallelujah nikuchagua you need to make a choice uamini alafu uchague you believe then you make a choice and do yeye hana upendeleo mungu no respect of person our god hallelujah hallelujah uwe mdogo uwe mkubwa wala ya young or elderly utajiri uwe una kitu kingi and totally poor sheria imewekwa ukitaka baraka anasema lete zaka na dadiu na kamili galani mwangu kiwemo chakula katika nyumba yangu unijaribu kwa njia hiyo muone kama sasa ugeni baraka i can't pour you blessings hata mkose pa kuweka till you lack space to pay it una 100 you have 500 anasema utakaposikia sauti ya bwana mungu na kutii kama inavyokuwa baraka zitakujia blessings come naye hana upendeleo and it's not respect of pastor atie baraka okay to bring blessings na hutendi la mungu you don't do his work wenende anavyokuagiza you don't go by his ways hana upendeleo he is not respect of pastor hana upendeleo he is not respect of pastor hallelujah 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 abisa hana upendeleo he is not respect of pastor upendeleo hana he is not respect of persons mimi nikaanza nyumba na kichoni i started the house kichoni kichoni manners of life my own laws haya okay kila saa nimejaa uchungu every time i'm bitter hallelujah hallelujah nikaambiwa sivyo i was so that's not the case maneno si chumvi ya kolea haraka haraka what's an like soul that you can measure 
Haya ambayo wewe anakuwa kila siku whatever is offending every day. Umewahi kumwambia mwenzako hii huwa sipendi, wewe Your partner I don't love this, I like this, I dislike this. Mtu You need to make an attempt. yako ni yapi? What is your will? Kutaka kwako ni kupi? What is your request? Na kutaka kwako ni kupi? And what is your dislike? Ulisema wewe? Did you say to her? Nasema hapana. I say no. Mimi natarajia wewe anajua. I expect her to be knowing. Anajua ulimwambia. For her to know, did you tell her? Ah bado. Okay, I'm not yet. Sasa wewe nakufundisha. Now be teaching. Amen. Amen. Wewe nakufundisha? Teach. Uweleweke wewe ni mtu wa And be understood which type of man you are. Si mtu afanye kuwaza. Not one to imagine. Nikawa naanza maisha ya kichonyo. I started a chonyo type of life. nyumba haichangamuki. There was no cheerfulness in my house. Kila saa watoto wako chini. Every time my children are lying down. Hata nikapoteza watoto wa. In fact, I lost four children. Maana nyumba ni vita sasa. Because it's battle all around the house. Kwa uchungu wa rohoni. For the spirit back session. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maana nilikuwa na lana ya uchungu wa rohoni kwa baba. I had a curse of the spirit back session for my father. Nilimtakia kufa. I wished him to die. Na nikawa nimechimba kaburi na mzizi. Again I felt a dagger graven by. Kumbe ya mauti ikawa mlango. Condemnation of death was next to my door. Hatupatani. We could not agree. Na siko neno makubwa makubwa. Eh this not even a good question. Very worthless. Lakini lana ni mbaya. But a curse is very bad. Lakini kwa mafundisho haya. By this teaching. Aliyofunuliwa baba Misha. That was given to a father Misha. Kuregesha watu nyuma. Projecting one back. Bwana akanijalia. The Lord enabled me. Ufahamu the discernment. Waomba mimi leo. That I today. Hata nina maisha nyumbani. I have life at home. Sia kuelewana na nyumbani mwangu. We could not agree with my father. Sasa kwamba hata kuna maneno makubwa. I know that this something big. Ni maana nina lana. Because of a curse. Nilidharau baba na mama. I despised my parents. Walipokuwa hawapatani kwa wewe. Whenever they never agree. Hata siku moja nikawaketisha kwa fundisha. I made them sit down and teach them. Na wewe baba mna hotel shida nyingi hapa. You mama so many problems here. Maana ninyi hamjashikamana. Because you're not together. Ah wakasema sikiliza wewe mwana unasemaje? Okay listen to me what does he say? Baba baba kamwambia ma, my father told my mother. Sikiliza hiyo kifaranga. Listen to that Mama. chick. Sasa baba I Hata said you father nini kitu kimoja? You want to be you are divided. Baba kama una kibaya yako okay, mama father if you have the same mama na kama una kibaya yako baba if, mama you have the same mama that's when you have peace. Baba yeah. akasema ya sikiliza. My father said okay listen to that chick. Bwana mama alisikiliza. Did my mother listen? Yao ulisikilize yao itatoboka kesho. You listen to an egg that can be broken Mbalo tomorrow. Ni bowl, Once you step in it can break any time. Hata hakuangalia kwanza. She never told me. Najisikia nina hekima. I felt I have a lot of wisdom with me. Ya kufundisha watu maisha. To teach people about life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mwezi mmoja. Okay, only one month in marriage. It sounded we stayed the whole year. Amen. Amen. Hata tumeoana tumepelekwa kwa kwetu Chonyi. We were married we gone back to Chonyi. Jumamosi imefanywa Ijumaa. The wedding was conducted on Jumamosi, Friday. Jumapili tukaenda kanisani. Now Saturday Sunday we went to church. Sasa Jumatatu tunarudi kwetu Mariakani. On Monday we are coming back Kila to place in Mariakani. Hiyo njia ya kuteremka barabarani anasika hilo sanduku anguko kani. We feel like we are tied with the bags. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Laona ni kitu kibaya. Curse is very bad indeed. Amen. Amen. Kabisa. Indeed. Maana tayari hiyo siku ya kwanza nyote ndio waziana tayari mama. The first day we were thinking division. Ni nini? What is it? Kwa hivyo, so Mungu ni mwema. God is good. Alituitia mema. He called us for good things. Mkae humu. You abide here. Mkiangalia. Looking very well. Wewe ni ndugu ni dada ni kijana ni brother a sister ladies and gentlemen. Njia zako na mawazo yako na mwendo wako. Your thoughts your conduct. Je ni sawa sawa na neno la Mungu? Is it according by the word of God? Hallelujah. 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 Kabisa. Indeed. Amen. Amen. Kwa sababu because Mungu hana upendeleo. God is not respect of persons. Usifikire huu baraka zitakuja tu. Don't think blessing will just come because you're in miracle in miracle miracle miracle. Miracle. that is so blessed. Anasema asubuhi banda mbebe. In the morning so the Najioni usizile mkono. Evening don't hinder your hand. Wewe ni wa asubuhi peke yako. You only saw in the morning. Maana bandari yangu iko pale. Because there's a packet of flour here. Na mafuta ya kukaranga mwezi mzima yako pale. Saying all for the all month here. Ndio sasa unatolea Mungu. That's when you offer to God. Jioni ikifika. When the evening comes. Mungu akizungumza wasema ni jioni. When God talks to say it's late. Tusomee muhubiri. Read for us Ecclesiastes 11. Naye anasema and he says Asubuhi panda mbegu. In the morning so the sea. Jioni usizuie mkono wako. The evening don't hinder your heart. Jioni ni wakati wa upungufu. The evening is a time of change. yako, evil things are yako, there. Yako, this way is there. Lakini uendelee. But you continue. Ah, uh, ku 
uendelee you continue uh, kutila Mungu to obey that of God. Bwana Mungu atafanya kazi. The Lord God will make it happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana Mungu atafanya kazi. The Lord God will perform the work. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Muhubiri Ecclesiastes 11 anza 4. 11 from verse 4. Wakasita to 6 Mwenye kuangalia upepo hatapanda naye ayatazamaye mawingu hatavuna kama vile wewe usipojua njia ya upepo ni ipi wala jinsi mifupa ikuavyo tumboni mwake mjamzito kadhalika huijui kazi ya Mungu afanyaye mambo yote asubuhi panda mbegu zako wala jioni usiuzuie mkono wako kwa maana wewe hujui ni zipi zitakazofanikiwa kama ni hii au hii au kama zote zitafaa sawa sawa He that observe the wind shall not sow and he that regard the clouds shall not reap as thou knowest not what is in the what is the way of the spirit know how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with a child even so thou knowest not the works of God who maketh all in the morning so thy said and in the evening with hold not thine hand for thou knowest not whether shall prosper either this or that or whether they shall be alike good amen amen kabisa indeed anasema mwenye kuangalia upepo hatapanda naye atazamaye mawingu hatavuna kama vile wewe usivyojua as you don't know how njia ya upepo ni ipi what is the way of the wala jinsi mifupa ikuavyo ndani ya tumbo la mama mjamzito how the bones grow kazi ya Mungu likewise you don't know the work of god afanyaye mambo yote who does all asubuhi panda mbele the morning so they said wala jioni usizie mkono maana hujui ni ipi because you don't know which one will jioni wakati wa upungufu in the evening at the or maybe in the morning hallelujah hallelujah baraka atakuja maana uko humu blessings what can be watu wanabarikiwa people are blessed unafanya nini what are you doing una kitu gani mikono yako what you have with your hands hallelujah hallelujah maana hapa ndacho mtu because what you saw is what you reap amen amen tusomee tena hapo then for us again the same eh ayatazamaye mawingu hatavuna kama vile wewe usipojua njia ya upepo ni ipi wala jinsi mifupa ikuavyo tumboni mwake mjamzito kadhalika huijui kazi ya Mungu afanyaye mambo yote asubuhi panda mbegu zako wala jioni usiuzuie mkono wako kwa maana wewe hujui ni zipi zitakazofanikiwa kama ni hii au hii au kama zote zitafaa sawa sawa Amen. Eh tusome. Ujui ni ipi itamea? You don't know which one will grow up. He that observeth the wind shall not sow and he that regardeth the clouds shall not reap. As thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit know how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child even so thou knowest not the works of god who maketh all in the morning so thy said and in the evening with holy not thine hand for thou knowest not whether shall prosper either this or that or whether they both shall be alike good Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Leo zako anasema mbona mimi? You can say what? Natolea Mungu zaka. I'm giving you what I and thanks to my kwa ndugu na wadada. I'm blessing brethren. Wafanya utakavyo wewe si vile Mungu. You do as you will not how God sends you. Ule wakati wa jioni ndio kuna upungufu when there's shortage. Ndio umejaa mahitaji. You are full of the needs. Mungu anapokuja kwako whenever God comes unto you don't listen. Wasema ngoje ni ngoje mwezi wa mwezi. Let me wait for the end man. Na Mungu anaweza kuja kwa wao mwezi wa kwanza wa nyao can come Kile at the time time very, lako, you so much depend on where you all depend hivyo, without so you've spoiled everything and God pale. comes right there. it's in the evening and there, that's why you are blessed and many disagree with God here because in your heart you don't keep the word of God hallelujah
Hallelujah. Lakini wakati kiko sawa na kile kiko sawa. This is okay. This is okay. Ni asubuhi hiyo. This is the morning. Ndio wase. Maana huko uko salama huko salama. Because you are very safe all round. Sasa wacha zakaya. Okay, this is my time. Amen. Amen. Na Mungu anasema utakaposikia sauti ya Bwana Mungu na kutii kama inavyokuagiza ndipo that is when this blessing will come unto thee bali wekae neno la Mungu to observe, observe the word of God in his heart ndio za kuonele ndipo itimika kwako that time doesn't come bana wewe asubuhi ndio wapanda in the evening wasema ni jioni you say it's late ndugu mmoja mwezi uliopita one brother passed man akaja hapa tukasikia anaita pale he came here he called us angalie gari lake ana part we look at his car ni ndugu ameandikwa na wahindi this is a brother employed by the indians kwamba ana mshahara hivi know that he has a big salary hata gari alikuwa hawazi in fact he was not thinking of buying a car lakini alijiliwa na ndugu tu but he was employed by ndugu a brother ndugu katika hivyo a brother the lord came unto him naye naye ameishiwa na mbele wale he is lacking totally mambo yake yameharibika his things are spoiled akaja kwa huyo ndugu he came to this brother too akamwambia ndugu he told him brother naomba uniazime tu 1500 i ask you to lend me only 5000 niende na erobi kuangalia mambo yangu go to nairobi and check on my issues unikopeshe you lend me nikifanikiwa nitakurejeshea once i prosper i'll return unto you ndugu sauti ikamjia a voice came to this brother si kwamba ana nyingi know that is rich ni tano hizo it's only 5000 shillings sauti ikamjia sasa ndugu huyu a voice came unto him now kama yeye mwenyewe ameishiwa if he's lacking na leo nimuwekeshe wasiwasi and today hata akose kula na kunywa huko aenda quest to eat whatever is going to maana anawaza labda mimi ninamfikiria ni, 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 thinking maybe akamwambia tano ndizo hizi he told me this is my 5000 lakini ni si kwamba nimekukopesha mimi nimekusaidia i've just had to roho ikamwambia hivyo the spirit told him that way hallelujah hallelujah nimekusaidia mimi i've helped you nimekusaidia i've just helped you hata usiwe na mawazo ndugu huko don't think father wherever you are mimi nimekopesha that maybe i've been lending money what did that brother say ni jioni hiyo this is late in the evening ni jioni hiyo this late in the evening ni jioni hiyo this is the evening Kumbe hivyo amepanda. Yeah, that way he has so. Ndugu yule alienda. Well, that brother went. Akamaliza muda huo aliomaliza huko. And stay the time he stayed there. Sijui nyaka ngapi, sijui ni muda gani. How many years? Sijui alisafiri paka nchi gani. I don't know whichever country he traveled to. Mungu akaenda kumfanikisha kule alikoenda. God prospered him wherever he went. Akafanikiwa. He prospered. Akafanikiwa. He prospered. Alipofanikiwa, when he prospered, Mungu akamwambia, God told him Kumbuka ndugu yule. Remember that brother. Upendo aliyodhihirisha kwa. The love he showed unto you. Si kwamba tajiri is rich. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ye yeah, naye alipofanikiwa. Him too when he prospered. Akasikia sauti. He had a voice. Yule ndugu yule. That brother. Nataka awe na gari. I want him to have a car. Akamwambia ndugu. He told him brother. Nataka nikutumanie pesa. I want to send you money. Ununue gari. You buy a car. Na nazilete kwa Western and Union. Now, transacting through the Western Union. Oh okay nashukuru sana i'm so happy Paul, you the way you help me out at a time i was shocked you help me nami nami nimefanikiwa leo prosper today i want you to have a car ndugu anawaza gari a brother was thinking a car hata nina nyumba na jenga polepole in fact i was constructing my house it's not yet complete gari lenyewe akaite basi akaona kama ni ndoto so thought it's a mara akamwambia aenda atenzi toli ba western union nimetuma pesa zangu western union have sent the money akaenda he went there alipoenda when he went anasema mambo ya western union mimi sijui i don't know the matters about the western union kidogo ana werevu huo twende pamoja my wife has the knowledge walipoenda when they went wewe ni nani okay who are you mimi ni fulani wa fulani ni fulani wa fulani so from this area jambulisho iko wapi ndio hii when i did this id nimeambiwa hapa kuna pesa za kuji i have some money here akaambiwa ziko kweli he also the money there too akapewa hundi lake la hela given the money hallelujah hallelujah akapewa pesa za he was given the money Mungu hana upendeleo. God is not respect of persons. Amekaa huyu ndugu. This brother stayed. Kwa sheria ya Mungu. In the love God. Kukumbuka wanyonge. Remembering the week. Wewe ukiona ndugu amekujia. When you see a brother coming unto you say. Watu wengine wanalana. Some people have curses. Ah watu ni walana. These people are full of curses. They don't listen to the teachings. Oh. Okay. Wengine ni malaika. So some are angels. Ni kama ukweli ni Johana kweli lakini si yeye anayekuja sasa ni malaika ndani yake but an angel through him ametumwa kwako he has been sent unto him hallelujah hallelujah 
Ndugu alipoona ameshika hivi. Una brother held the money. Ah, dada. Okay. Tumalize ile nyumba yetu. We finish up the house. Dada akamwambia. The wife said no. Ela hizi likuja. This money came kwa gari. We buy a car. Tuzigeuze tena. We check the money. Na yule ndugu atasemaje? What will that brother say? Kama ni hivyo tuende kwa pasi. If that is the case we go to the picture. Wakaenda kwa pasi. They went to the picture. The preacher told them now. Vile vile sauti ya ndugu yule. How the voice of the brother. Timizeni hivyo hivyo. Fulfill exactly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Timizeni hivyo hivyo. Fulfill the same. Wakaenda. They went. Wakapata gari. And got a car. Juzi wakajanaru mwezi. The other day they came with right here. Mawazi ya gari ya wako wanayo. They never thought of buying a car. Na ndugu huyo namjua ukaribu wake. And I know that brother how kind he is. Wahubiri wakiona kanisa hilo walipo. Whenever the preachers go to that church. Mhubiri anasema anataka kwenda nyumbani. Should the preacher say I'm going home. Na huko anakabobusika sukari, huko na huko na And he has some luggage with him. Paka malindi marereni. Okay, to malindi down in marereni. Anakodisha taksi. He hires a taxi. Peleka huyu pasita. Okay, take this preacher. Paka kwake nyumbani to his home. Then you come back. How much do you want? Nasi kwamba na nguvu. They know that you have the capacity. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dio baraka ziko umu. That's why blessings are right here. Lakini unakitugani utenda. What do you have doing? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Baraka ziko umu. Blessings are around here. Lakini anasema. But he says. Asubui panda mbegu. In the morning so. Na jion usizui. In the evening don't hinder your hand. Usizui. Don't withhold it. Wengi ni watu wa asubui ni. Many are sowing in the morning. Lakini jioni kivika. But in the evening come. Una hodi ya mutu. You don't. No one can knock in a place. Aka mungu waka zungumu zagi. However God talks to you. Wee bora watoto waka wawesa. So long as your children are safe. Na mungu na ye uja. And God to come. Wakatu ule ule. At a time. Wajioni. In the evening. Yo mungu anakuja. That's when God comes. Not in the morning. Ile jioni ile ndungu. In the evening. That's when God comes. Jioni ile ile. In the evening. Yo huwa mungu anakuja. That's when God comes. Anakuiza petro. He has to end up. Peter do you love me? Pale pale pamifika pagumu pale. We're in difficulties. Yo wengi muna kosa baraka. That's why many lack the blessings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa na ni watu wa subuhi. Because these are people who saw in the morning. Mwe watu wa jioni. The people who saw in the evening too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jioni kumepoa in the evening when it's cold. It's not hot. Hapo ndio Mungu anatembelea. That's when God visits one. Anasema hodi rimba. He says knocking here rimba. Amen. Amen. Akaja akasema hodi rimba. He came and knocked unto my place. Umesikia mtumishi wa Mungu anasema leteni hela zangu. Your father said God saying you bring money. Because the lady's hostel is Wakati ule wa jioni ule. At time in the evening. Nikale ka kibakale kale. The saving I had. Mwenyewe nataka nikajisalimishe kwa mwalimu mkuu. I wanted to surrender to the principal. Maana wanafunzi ni watatu. Because I have three boys. Jioni ndio hiyo hiyo. That is the evening time. Sauti ikaja. A voice came. Haya kile kile. Okay the same thing. Kile za fungulia wiki ijayo. The schools are opening next Nimeweka week. Nimeweka ni kuzangu sita. I have six thousand and me. Hili fungulia shule. Whenever the schools open up. Nika mulilie mali mumukumu. I go plead with the principal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sauti ikaja pelekea mtungaji. A voice came. Mpani. Take this money to mtungaji. Bwana akanjalia the Lord enabled me to be yaki. pleased by his law. Alie nipa watoto ni nani? Whoever give me the children is God himself. Kwanza mimi si kuomba watoto. First of all, I never prayed for the children. Wataka bila kusoma na wakae. Whether they stay without school let them stay. Nawaambia mama napeleka I take my wife I'm taking she said you take the money. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jioni ile ile. That is the same evening. Nikila kile the same same jioni hiyo. That is evening hour. Nikakileta mkononi mwa I brought to to the man of the apostle. Nasema lete 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 bring my money here go away okay go your way ah. amen amen nikajua ameomba i knew you are praying i felt peace bana jioni hakuna jua kali because in the evening it's not hot wewe ukitimiza la mungu when you feel full of god hata huna kitu ajisikia uko salama you have nothing but you feel safe bana usalama atoka kwa mungu because the security comes from god hallelujah hallelujah nikasikia na amani i felt i have peace watasoma whether they go to school or not go to school si kuomba mwana i never prayed for a child kama watakaa na mungu they atukuze god to be glorified mungu atukuze may god be glorified hallelujah hallelujah Amen. Amen. Bani hawa kusom. Didn't they go to school? Nasita haja kushudia. And I never stopped testing. Jibadatu yake nikatungwa kuenda wako. The following Monday I was sent to Mombasa. Kufika hapo kubandasa ya jundi. Down the upper kibandasara. Message in DOE. A message popped up. 20k. 20,000 shillings. Wakatuo hiyo ni kama milioni. That time that was like a million. 20k. 20,000. 
I know from the time you married, they've grown up now. I told them they are so much matured in secondary school. Three boys in secondary school. Oh, okay. I've retired from work. Those are some of the deals that I help you with. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Na kutoka siku hiyo and from that day kutoka siku hiyo from that day kutoka siku hiyo from that day kutoka siku hiyo from that day ule uzito wa kusomesha na ule ugumu ugumu and the difficult to get ndoka kwa jina la Yesu wende name of Jesus ule ondoka kwa jina la Yesu wende name of Jesus ule ondoka kwa jina la Yesu wende wende name of Jesus ule ondoka kwa jina la Yesu wende name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah kwa jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus it went away amen amen I saw so many doors opening up. We were blessed with a milk account. Far from Malindi. One bottle, one bottle and selling. Hallelujah. The last one went to school. And school without any stress. In fact, he finished up and left some money in the account. Thirty thousand. I told him, go and claim the money. Mahamuri. We go and eat the duck. I also know this is a bursary. Could it be your father's money? But this a relief from the government. They'll benefit someone else. I told him, can't you? Amen. Amen. Okay, just leave them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> that is our God of missionary that you worship today. He hasn't changed and you never changed. He is God of miracles. But where is he? Who is pleased by his Lord? Who is the doer of the work? Who sows in the morning? Evening. That's when God is seen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today our brother has his own car. I normally see him every Wednesday coming there. In the past he could not come on Wednesday. Because he knew from work, maybe it's late. Everything has its own time. Amen. Amen. Everything has its own time. 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 Do you want God to work in you? Tell the Lord God of the Father the Father to enable you to be that person who is pleased by his Lord. To strengthen you that you don't feel obeying God in the morning and the evening. The door of the word, not the hearer and not only one who believes. Those who are just fine are the doers, not the hearers. The doers of the word. Hallelujah. Those who separate themselves from the unrighteous and from the unrighteous church, they separate themselves. This God lies and bitterness. All gossiping. They are pleased by his law. The doers of the word of God. Whom their joy is his law. Even if you bring this God, they stop you. Okay, to that point, stop it. If God says he's weak, help her, don't gossip her. Okay. He's ready to separate from the strangers. He's ready to separate from the strangers. Separating himself from unwanted stuff. The door of the word here. Who has kept the Lord God in his heart. He says. This man shall be a tree like. Planted by the river banks. The sea is salty. By the river sands. With the water that can and make it grow up. He says, and whatever he does shall prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall prosper. Shall prosper. Shall prosper. Shall prosper. Shall prosper. 
not your alafu watu wa vilio kila saa at time you are healing then you are never wainue god wants to exalt you you have mega companies lakini umejawoga but you are full of fear mnachanganya kimungu na ya duniani you mix godliness and gentleness mara mpango ya kando times a fear of money at times peace tena huko mnachanganya mungu then you are mixing the god tokane huko get out of from there upendezo na sheria ya bwana and be pleased by the love of the lord Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mungu anataka afanye kazi nani? God wants to work with you. Wengine ni werevu. Some are so wise. Werevu na ya duniani. Very wise about the gentle life. Sijana si wazee. Not the you na wana pingili. You see them. Wamejaa werevu ya duniani. They are full of the bravariness of the world. Utakana degree zako hakuna kazi utapewa. You will have your degrees without employment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mungu afanye kazi na watu ambao wamejaa kiduni. God doesn't work with the gentiles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fanye kazi na watu kama. He doesn't work with such a people. Uko humu umejawerevu wa dunia. You are very wise about the world. Unajivunia kuwa na marafiki. You are proud of the love. Love una mkipenzi. The lovers. Ukienda Malindi una kipenzi. Ukienda Malindi over lava. Ukienda Dubai una kipenzi. Ukienda Dubai over lava. Ndio wajivunia na maana. Now you are proud of that. Hakuna mema atakuja. There's nothing good will come. Hakuna baraka atakuja. And there's no blessing will come. Utaona mara umeambiwa karibu kazi. Attention your coach for employ tomorrow your son. Utaishi hivyo paka leo. And you'll stay for. Bana uko ndio za sheria ya Mungu. Because you're not pleased by the love of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na ni shetani amekutia hivyo. This the devil has unakuwa mzuri kwa wazazi sasa yote. You are very good to the parents every time. Utaona hata watu wanaokulea. You see whenever you are busy they are your parents. Watachoka. They'll be tired. Kila saa ni hodi every time no. Saidieni na hiki. Help me with this. Wanawaza si huyu angawe na chake mwana huyu. This person to have his own. Amen. Amen. Na kesho wasipokuweko watakaye kufara ni. They know they will help you. Hata wao wanakusaidia kesho watachoka na. They are helping tomorrow they'll be tired. Wakijua wanakupa lakini nje unazoziendea ni mbaya. They know they are providing but you're going to be a reason na Mungu. Watazuliwa na Mungu. They'll be stopped by God. Maana wanajua huyu ukimpa 1100. Hayo ndi kutoa zaka. He doesn't give time. Anaenda kwa magesi. He goes to the gates. Watazuliwa hawatakuwa. They'll be stopped from giving you. Maana upendezo na sheria. Because you're not pleased by the law of God. Atakayekupa ni nani? Who will provide for you? Watazuliwa na Mungu. They'll be stopped by God himself. Mana upendo na sheria because you are not pleased by the law of the lord hallelujah hallelujah huyu pastor mangale huyu pastor mangale here mezi mitatu yuko tabora for three months in tabora amefungua makanisa huko mawili he has started churches two churches mwingilisi huyu an evangelist mezi mitatu yuko tabora for three months down there in tabora Unakaa na watu ndio unaanzisha kuokoka sasa. You stay with people and tell them about the church. Kaka karibu na jengo nataka kujenga huko. Very soon the church is constructed. A permanent one. Ndugu mmoja akamwambia, "Wana brother told him pastor, kazi hii yote, all this work. Mimi nataka nikujengee nyumba kwa imani." I want to construct for you a house by faith. Ana stahili, he owes to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Mahali kavu basi bona kitu. A very dry place without any paka pawe na kitu. You stay till something comes. Ulale, ulale mitaruni paka paka kuena muji. You stay in a very poor place till you have a home. Nana wezaye kazi hiyo. Who can do such a work? Utaona mtu akituma mahali anasema mmetuma mahali akafa. You say one is sent to a place. Wanataka dari wakenda mahali akutema yeye abidi akabati. They want to go to place where there's there's egg. Yeah, ameenda mahali hata kitu hakuna hata. He has gone to a place without anything to tell. They don't know how, how to feed the preacher. Ni pesa yake atavuti cha kukula. It is his own money to seek for the food. Paka leo kumekuwa kanisa. Today it's a church now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Na waomba tusimame. I ask you to stand. Anasema, he says, anasemaje? What does he say? Mwenye kushika sheria ya Bwana. Who know upon the law of the Lord? Huyo kila alitendalo litafanikiwa. Whatever he does shall prosper. Ambaye jioni anapanda mbele. In the evening is sowing the seed. Asubuhi hazui. And in the morning too. Jioni hazui. In the evening it doesn't. Sheria ya Mungu ndio inayopendeza. The law of God is present. Wengi leo ninyi mmejaa many today are full of the world life. Ukisikiza ripoti za huko na huko when you listen to the reports around. Mmemwacha Mungu wa baba mshirika. You for second God of mission. Merudi kuifuata dunia. Go back to follow the world. Mungu atafanyaje kazi? How will God work? Na sivyo and that's not how you are called. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Haleluya. Haleluya. Na Mungu anataka afanye kazi na ninyi. God wants to work with you. Muko Dubai, muko wapi? Whether you in Dubai, kwa mwa kwa madara kama kwa makubwa. In very great promotion. Bwana mnatoa pesa kwa kujenga makanisa. Because you give money to construct churches. Haleluya. Haleluya. Tuna nyumba ya wahubiri hapa. We have the preachers house. Plan yake tunaendelea kuikomboa polepole. Still redeeming and tunaamini miaka ijayo itajengwa. We believe next year will start. Bwana fedha na dhahabu ni mali ya Bwana. Because the silver and gold is the proper. Tunaanza kutoa polepole. We start giving slowly right now. Jioni tunatoa polepole. In the evening we gave. Ni asubuhi tunatoa. In the morning we gave. Maana Mungu anapendezwa. Because God is pleased. Nawashikao sheria. By those who are poor is low. Si wewe unao upendezwe. Not you to to be pleased. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh muko. Okay. Karibuni. Welcome. Nasikia sauti ya Yesu. Nikiita mwanangu mtu. Nita kwenda bila kuchelewa. Lakini angalia Bwana moyo wake umeondolewa na shetani kupendezwa na sheria yako. Moyo wake shetani ameufanya usipendezwe na sheria yako. Haki imeondoka moyoni mwake. Amejaa kufurahia ya duniani himu. Ndio maana umeshindwa kufanya kazi na kijana yule na mzee yule na msichana yule na mama yule na wewe unataka ujitukuze katika maisha ya watu wako bwana lakini angalia mioyo yao imeondolewa kufurahia sheria yako dunia ndio wameifanya kuwa muhimu na wewe washindwa kufanya kazi katikati ya watu kama hao ambao mashauri yao ni ya mataifa wanakaa katika mashauri ya wakosaji wenye ugomvi bwana ponya mioyo ya watu wako ukawarejeshe kufurahia sheria yako kama mwanzo wa wokovu wako bwana 
maana sivyo walivyoanza waliona baraka wakaona amani maana mioyo yao ilikuwa imejaa furaha na sheria ya furaha na sheria yako bwana lakini wakafika mahali wakakosa furaha hiyo ikawaondokea leo dunia ndio wanaiona muhimu kuliko sheria yako bwana na ni wewe uliyewachagua ukawaita ili wahesabie haki uwatukuze regesha ndani ya moyo wakila mmoja kuwa na moyo ambao furaha yake ni sheria yako ili bwana ukaweze kujidhihirisha maishani mwako maana wewe una upendeleo wewe una upendeleo unapendelea wakao katika sheria zako asante baba kutenda asante kutimiza kuondoa kila furaha ya dunia kwa ndugu yule kwa mzee yule kwa mama yule kwa kijana yule kwa msichana yule ambaye amenaswa na furaha ya duniani ndio ambayo iko moyoni mwake na wewe unimuita ili ujitukuze maishani mwake kaponye moyo huo ambao shauri la dunia ndio furaha yake ukamjalia kila mmoja kufurahia sheria yako sheria yako moyo wake uwe ndio furaha yake ni jioni ni asubuhi awe na furaha ya kupanda mbegu kutii sauti yako maana baraka zako zaja kwa atendaye sante bwana kutimiza kutenda ninaamini bwana yesu kila furaha ya dunia hii kila furaha ya dunia hii waenda kuiondoa ndani ya ndugu yule ukampe bwana kupendezwa na haki kupendezwa na sheria zako awe mkubwa awe mdogo ulimwitia baraka na amani aliye hapa aliye nje bwana moyo wake uumbike kufurahia sheria yako kama Yusufu alivyofurahia sheria yako hata kule ugenini utumani hakukutenda dhambi bwana alikimbia dhambi bana sheria yako ilikuwa ndani ya moyo wake imeandikwa humo bana asante kutimiza hilo asante kutimiza hilo kwa wana wetu kwa vijana wetu kwa wasichana wetu kwa wazee kwa wamama furaha ya sheria yako iwe ndani ya mioyo yao Bwana asante kutimiza. Hebu ndugu mpendwa, upendwae na Bwana Yesu. Who is loved by the Lord Jesus. Kuitwa kukaa katika giza. You are not called to stay in darkness. Mungu anataka kuinue. God wants to exalt you. Angalia ndugu yule. Look at that brother. Akatimiza sheria. He fulfilled the law of God. Isemayo saidia wanyo. That says help the way. Akatii sauti ya Mungu. He obeyed the voice of God. Kusaidia ndugu yule. Help that brother. Kumbe kesho Mungu atamfanya. Yet the following day God will prosper. Leo anachomba ambacho angekuwa. Today he has a vessel that you cannot have. Atamazo yake hako anayo. He never thought of buying a car. Yeye alikuwa anawaza tu. He was just thinking. Mungu amfungulie milango ajenge nyumba kumbe Mungu anamwazia gari God is thinking a na njia ni ya jioni and the way in the evening apande mbegu to sow the seed ndugu yule that brother kwa shukurani nyingi for so much gratitude alipofanikiwa when he prospered akakumbuka mimi he remembered nilikuwa hali ya nyonge was in a very period kule Mombasa that brother in Mombasa akanifanyia tendo la hisani This something very great to me. Mungu akamwagiza. God commanded him. Ununulie gari. Buy a car for him. Leo analo. And today as a car. So kama yeye ni pastor. No that is a preacher. Ndugu tu raia kama wewe. Get a casual brother like you. Je, wewe hujatumwa na Mungu? Have you been sent by God? Wakati ndio umezongwa na mambo yako. Time you are surrounded na by God. Na ya Mungu ije. And the voice of God to come. Tenda hili. Do this. Fanya hili. Okay, do all this. Mwambie Bwana nipe uwezo. Say the Lord give me the power. Moyoni mwangu. In my heart. Wa kutia agizo lako. To obey your command. Nipe uwezo. Give me the power. Moyoni mwangu. In my heart. Moyo wangu. My heart. Wewe ule uwekao sheria to be abiding in Na uniwezeshe bwana. Kuwa mtendaji wa neno la. Unipe moyo. Unumbe moyo. Ufurahi yao sheria yako. Ufurahi yao sheria yako bwana. Tena unipe uwezo. Kwa kuwa mtendaji. Kuwa mtendaji. Maana wewe Mungu unaonekana. Mahali neno lako limetendwa. Hapo ndipo unaonekana. Hebu tumuombeni Mungu. Let's pray to our God. Baba Mungu wa mwandishi. Katika jina la Bwana Katika jina
Who doesn't go by the counsel of the ungodly? Who doesn't sit in the sitting of the scornful? But the law of God is what pleases him. That one shall be like a tree planted by the river banks. Ali, of such a tree won't dry up. You see it withering. And it is by the river banks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not easy. And he says, whatever he does shall prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever he does shall prosper. Paul rise up in the opposite. It's God who has commanded that. Hallelujah. 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 And our God is no respect of persons. Okay, you are going through an unrighteous way. Then he blesses you the same. At times he wrangles, then he blesses you. It won't happen. Hallelujah. We can't create ourselves. Whenever we pray that way, we believe the hands are created to body the Lord. We have to put into action. The Lord God of our Father missionary. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They were never called to perdition. We are called for God to show up in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We've come to the end of our service. Now see. We ask one brother to close with a prayer. Ajili ya upendo wako wa pekee ambayo umetuajalia baba takatifu wa mbingu na inchi na kila kitu kilichomo. Ninakushukuru kwa ajili ya uwezo wako na nguvu zako kwa jinsi vile ambavyo tulikualika katika mkutano huu. Kimtumia mtumishi wako Bwana. Ninakushukuru kwa ajili ya kwamba Bwana hakika tumeona mkono wako, tumeona fadhili zako na rehema zako na neema zako ambazo Bwana zimeweza kushuka katika siku ya leo kwa njia ya mtumishi wako Bwana. Ama kwa kweli Bwana umempa mtumishi wako kunena jinsi vile ambavyo inatakikana sisi Bwana tukapate kuenenda ili tukapate kukutana na mema yetu. Hakika Bwana memtumia mtumishi wako vilivyo na vinasema ni asante kwa ajili ya upendo wako wa pekee. Ninakushukuru Mungu wetu wa mwanzilishi katika mtumishi wako kwa jinsi vile ambavyo Bwana hakika tumeona mkono wako Bwana. Umeona jinsi vile ambavyo Bwana tumekutafuta wewe lakini tulikuwa hatukuoni katika ndani ya maisha yetu. Lakini hakika Bwana umesungumza ya kwamba hakika Bwana ni kwa ajili ya zile sehemu ambazo tumekaa hatuwezi kuona utukufu wako. Basi tusaidie mwana wa Mungu kuenenda kama vile ambavyo neno lako limesema. Tuajalie uwezo na nguvu mwana wa Mungu maana sisi wenyewe hatuwezi. Tunahitaji utukufu wako katika ndani ya maisha yetu lakini tutauonaje utukufu wako tusipoenenda katika njia zako wewe Mungu. 
Tusaidie basi tunanyenyekea chini ya miguu yako kama mtumishi wako jinsi vile ambavyo umemsaidia e baba. Tusaidie e Mungu. Tuwezeshe e baba. Tusiangamie tukapotea hali mtumishi wako msimamisha kuzunguza neno leo takatifu e Mungu tusaidie. Tusipotee tusiangamie na hali Bwana hakika umetusimamishia mtumishi wako katika kati yetu e baba. Tusaidie tutie nguvu ili tuenende kama mapenzi yako yapendavyo. Tutie nguvu bwana tutoke barazani pa wenye mizaha na bwana tuwajalie nguvu takuweza kwenenda katika njio za ambao si wakosaji bali wenye haki e Mungu tusaidie tutie nguvu Mwanao mtakatifu bwana kufa msalabani ilikuwa si bure ilikuwa ni kwa ajili yetu tupate kukombolewa basi mwana wa Mungu kifo chako siwe ni bure bali bwana kiwe cha thamani na kumsimamisha mtumishi wako kumpa maneno kuzungumza kwa ukweli na kwa haki na kwa njia ya ufasaha na kila hali e Mungu tusaidie tuenende kama mtumishi wako ulivyompa katika siku ya leo Mwana wa Mungu umetuleta mahali hapa bwana na umetuwajalia kusikia na kupokea kutoka kwako Mwana wa Mungu tuendapo kufungana toka mahali hapa bwana aliye mdogo kuliko mkubwa kuliko mdogo Mwana wa Mungu bwana ukapata kutufumua kwa amani na jua bwana umetuleta kwa amani kutoka sehemu za mbalimbali e Mungu tusaidie kutoka mahali hapa bwana kwenda kwa amani katika kila sehemu ambazo tunaenda na safiri kwa njia ya miguu Mwana Mungu tembea pamoja nao. Safiri kwa njia ya magari na mapikipiki na kila sehemu ya ufuzo safiri Mwana Mungu kapate kwa pamoja nao waendako. Wametoka kwa amani wakapate kukutana na Mwana wa amani waendako e Mungu. Sante Mwana Mungu letu kwa ajili ya upendo wako pekee tumia mtumishi wako. Haya yote hatungeyapata na kuyaona lakini ulimsimamisha mtumishi wako Mshiri mzee Elisha na ndio sababu Bwana umetupa neno hili la utakaso. Mwana Mungu saidia familia hiyo usiache kuliko mdogo kuliko mkubwa e Mungu usiwapungukie mtumishi wako ambaye umempa kunena kwa ujasiri usimpungukie yeye pamoja na familia yake saidia yeye ni mwanadamu na mahitaji yaliyo mengi pamoja na familia yake simwache e Mungu saidia mchie nguvu kwa ajili ya sisi wote tukapata amani kutoka kwako nashukuru mwana wa Mungu letu hiki jua hakika bwana hayo yote bwana umesikia amini bwana utatufumua kwa amani nguvu zako zitatembea pamoja nasi Tupe kutafakari maneno yako ya usima na amani im e Mungu tukapate kuona wema wako usipungukie katika ndani ya maisha yetu na shukrani nikiamini umesikia na kisha umetenda kwa sababu tena kutimiza hiyo ni ahadi yako ni katika jina lako Yesu Kristo uliye bwana na mkombozi wetu karibu mama welcome mama Ninawasalimu katika jina la Bwana Yesu. Na Mungu awabariki sana. Iende mbele injilio. Iende mbele injili Yesu. Iende mbele Vamos, 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 vamos. 
confirma, 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 confirma.
Look at, look at, look at. 